so it's kind of a chat show. It's not meant to be laugh out loud funny, so it's um, it's more for geeks. A lot of comics are, are geeks themselves, a lot of comics are people who, who love comedy. But when you drive with comics, when you go weekend with comics, we all like talking about comedy, the very the minutiae of how jokes work or uh, which words are funnier or which words are better in which order. And so the show is kind of to see whether we can do that in front of an audience and have fun, really, and maybe teach people a little bit about stand-up. The other title for the show, uh, which pretty much sums up the show slightly better, it would be uh, Dissecting a Frog. Um, because there's a guy called E.B. White who, did a, who said that uh, <laughs> uh, analysing comedy is like dissecting a frog. You will understand how the frog works, but it will be dead. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, if there's a drive, it's, it's just the passion of stand-up. I just love stand-up comedy, it's as simple as that. It's, it's the immediacy of, of talking and then their response, you know, it, it happens like that, which is brilliant. You just listen. I mean, stand-up, we get so obsessed with stand-up being about talking, but actually it's not, it's about listening. And, you know, you don't... Uh, you listen to the audience, you listen to the way they are, the listening in stand-up is so much more important than the talking in stand-up. So I suppose, just a very quick cheer, uh, give me a cheer, um, and please be honest with this, uh, give me a cheer if you are at heart simply a comedy fan. Hey. <laughs> Not the most enthusiastic cheer. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to have a difficult hour. Give me a cheer, well fuck it, let's do this. Give me a cheer if you don't like comedy at all. What I do, I do quite a bit because I like to chat and I compare and I do lots of TV warm-ups, so yeah, I like to natter with them. But I kind of think that I know what's going on in my head, I know what my thoughts are, and I'm with them all the time, so I'd quite like to see what other people's thoughts are. It was terrible, I mean it was awful, but I kind of think that everyone's first gig should be awful. If I gave you a guitar, if you don't play the guitar and went, here's this guitar, go and perform in front of, you know... 50 people, then you go, well, that's just that's a ridiculous idea. Let me learn the guitar first, and then I'll do it. But when you do stand-up, you have to learn in front of an audience, and it's inevitable that you will die. Yeah. I'm nervous about this one, and last year when I did Leicester, um, I was also nervous about that. It's, I'm nervous when I do new things. But this is a brand new type of show for me. Um, and I want to always test myself. So I'll do lots of comparing, lots of TV warm-up, lots of gigs. And after a while, I know I can do them. Um, I've reached a point now where I'd like to try things that I don't think I can do, which is what today is all about. You are uh, both going to have to pace yourself and massively lower your expectations. Because um, there are loads of you in here which makes it seem that this is going to be fucking brilliant. Uh, but it's never been done before, so it could be fucking shit. I think on me, really. I think it's just chatting to the audience. I think it's discussing. It's a dialogue, so I'm probably slightly more extreme. But depending on the context, sometimes I'll be quite... You know, I'm nicely mellow at the moment because... My show's not started, I've got a bit of time to chill, so I'm quite mellow, and on stage, if the audience are mellow, I'll be mellow, and if the audience are a little bit feisty, I'll be a bit feisty. At the moment, a little bit too much sex. A little bit. I'm a single man, I'll be good on dates and stuff. <laughs> and, and, and so I've got slightly too much feel for the moment, which I'm trying to rectify, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we got two of the brunts, so there are two people standing and you want to come, there's a lady there who's walking there, are you, are you thinking about it? No. Have you got someone with you, or is it just you? Just me. Okay, right, are, are you, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Choose which one if you want to sit next to the lady or the man, it's really up to you. Okay, let's have a look, see don't. where she's going. I'm going to next to the Go next to the black, good, nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a, it's a nice place to kind of... Um, to say stuff and, and to have those boundaries in the environment of the room, you know, it's nice to just go, well, let's 
Let's see what we can say here and keep it here and see what happens. Also, we'll probably bitch about people for a little bit, so we might have to have a circle of truth in here, and if we do mention comics and we call them a prick, don't tell them. <laughs> it's quite simple, but very few of you will bump into <laughs> So, um... <laughs> I don't know, festivals can be a bit weird. Um, I, I did have a gig booked, but I never did it in a car. But I did do a, my own gig in my car once. I drove to a gig and there was no one there, and the pub was rubbish. I took two, there were only two people in the audience. So myself, the compo, and the two members of the audience <laughs> drove around for 20 minutes while I did the, my set. So that's probably the weirdest. <laughs> All my life. Yeah, I mean, literally, you know, I kind of, I work seven days a week and I do often TV warm up during the day and gigs in the evening. Um, and when I'm not working, I'm thinking about it. When I wake up, I, my thoughts are what I'm going to do today and my thoughts are about stand-up and I watch stand-up and like stand-up and read about stand-up, you know, I'm a geek, I'm a comedy geek. This year, uh, January... 2012, I gave up uh, chocolate, uh, fried chicken, McDonald's. Um, I'm giving it up until the end of Lent, so I'm giving myself three and a half months off um, because it's a nightmare. But, but it's a nightmare for me because I love chocolate and fried chicken and McDonald's. I'm, I love it. I love it. I love comedy um, and I really like girls, but I think I like chocolate probably even more. <laughs> get to Leicester by <laughs> 3 o'clock um, <laughs> on the 5th of February before this film is made I would suggest coming to see my show uh, if you can't and this show goes somewhere else then come and see this show um, and if you can come and see the show essentially just stage time gig miles and just loving it you know just absolutely Adore it. And if you adore it and if you work hard at it, if you work hard at it, if you adore it, you won't be working, you know. It's, it's, it's not that, so just do it as much as you possibly can. Lovely. Thank you, Lucy.